Over 100 years ago, an Irish suffragette smashed windows at Dublin Castle in protest at women not having the right to vote. What do you think I do? Today, her granddaughter reenacted the protest in celebration of women getting that right. The main direct action was done by the militant suffragettes and my grandmother smashed windows in Dublin Castle. She chose Dublin Castle because it was the seat of British power. So she wanted to have a go at them while she was at it. Hannah Sheehy Skeffington was arrested and taken to Mountjoy Prison where she went on hunger strike. When the suffragette movement first started in the mid-1800s, it was peaceful, but it turned more radical. However, war changed women's roles, and after decades of fighting for suffrage, the vote was granted to women if they were over 30 and had property rights or a university education. London, by the statue of their famous leader, Mrs. Emmeline Pankhurst, suffragettes meet again to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the birth of their movement, which fought unceasingly for votes for women. 100 years ago, women also won the right to stand in general elections. Countess Markovic was the first and only woman to be elected to the British Parliament in 1918. But as an Irish Republican, she didn't take up her seat. Since Countess Markovic, over 100 women have been elected to Dáil Éireann. Now it's still in Dáil Éireann, we only have 22% female representation. Uh, I myself, are the, are the I'm the 19th woman ever to sit at Cabinet uh, and that's, it's quite scary to think of that because we really need to get more women involved. A series of events are taking place to celebrate the centenary of women gaining the right to vote, while a monument to suffrage is also planned. Sharon Tobin, RTE News.